What do you think might be an itching bug bite might be more than that? Dr. Lauren Garabelli is with the Oklahoma City Clinic and joins me with more. Doctor, thank you for being here. Thank you. This is summertime, of course. We get a lot of bug bites, but you want to warn parents it could be something else. Tell us about that. That's right. So uh, let's take spiders, for example. Um, whenever I, I see patients coming in, a lot of times telling me that they think they may have a spider bite, but in fact, it may actually be something completely different, what I call a staph infection. Um, they come in, they show me their red raised bump, and they aren't sure what it is. When I see it, I see, see something I call an abscess or a boil. Um, staph is a bacteria that lives in our nose and on our skin at all times. But in some cases, if you get a little nick or a scratch, it can actually create a, an infection and really mount up and get mean and ugly. So you really are trying to reach parents who aren't bringing someone in, thinking it's a bug bite. That's right. And that picture we have, we have some pictures of bug versus staph infection. Why should we be so concerned about staph? I think everyone knows it's serious. Look how similar they look, too. You can see why a parent Absolutely. may be kind of conservative about going to the doctor. Right, so when you're not sure, especially if you didn't see the, the, it, that bug picture is actually a spider picture, mm -hmm. um, but if you're not sure that it, you didn't actually see that spider bite you, you um, really need to seek medical attention regardless. Um, the biggest difference that I see is that a staph infection is raised and, and may actually have blood or pus coming out of the center of it. Yes. Patients also may have fevers associated with it. And if it goes left untreated, it could become a much, much more serious infection and even lead to hospitalization. How do you treat staph at this stage? Well, it, it really depends on how severe it is. For, yes. a, for a minor infection, you can start off using just warm compresses and warm, warm water baths as well as a topical antibiotic. But if the infection gets more severe, then you need to seek medical attention. Your doctor may prescribe you an oral antibiotic um, and may actually need to do a procedure known as an incision and drainage where they actually expel some of the pus out of the, the lesion. Do you see more staph in children? I see staph in all ages, but in my office I definitely see it in, in young children, in particular the little kids that are still in diapers or um, pull-ups just because of hygiene issues. Then back to the bug bites, which is a problem. How do we protect ourselves and more importantly our children? So many people are reticent about spraying off on a child, and they probably should be. Absolutely. I'm a mother of a four-month-old myself, and I'm constantly worried about her getting mosquito bites. Um, but what I would recommend is that you do take care to use insect repellent as needed. Um, in infants greater than two months of age, it's safe to use as long as you apply it to your own hands first and apply it onto their skin directly. Um, do, do not put it near their mouths, their eyes, or their hands. Dr. Garibelli, good to know. Thank you for being here. Thank you. We appreciate